Welcome back to the Whistlepig Palace. Guess what, guys? I learned how to put music behind our videos. Woo! So here are our adventures in and around Nashville, Tennessee. All right, so I'm out here grilling breakfast. We just got over a freeze warning, and this morning it's snowing. If you can see the little flakes here, I'd call this a flurry, but definitely precipitating frozen. <laughs> just making a hearty breakfast outside the camper. Okay, so here's the fit. <laughs> Sorry, I already started eating it. I, I didn't think about this. But this is how it rolls in the camper, <laughs> basically. Let's see if I can... Okay, so this is how we eat breakfast. We got a lovely view of trees and leaves and stuff. And, you know, I'm just sitting here with my laptop on my yoga blocks. My coffee fits. Yeah. Got a spot. My breakfast is <laughs> gone. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to Lebanon, Tennessee. The town square actually flooded in 2010, and so they got a bunch of money to redo the buildings, and that's how it turned out so cute. I went to the brewery here, Cedar City, and had a great hazy IPA. Also rumored to have the best wings in town, but cannot confirm, did not have them. You went on St. Patrick's Day, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, there, so there was a line out the door. Uh, but got to share a table, make some new friends. And then we got to hang out with my cousin Hannah. She is going to school in Nashville. She took us to Jenny's ice cream, which the line here was also out the door, but so worth it. I had gooey butter ice cream. What'd you have? I had Ted Lasso's shortbread crunch. Took in a show with the Grand Ole Opry. It was on Country Classics night, so literally all the music that my grandparents listened to. So I knew almost every word. Had Mal singing along yeah, to a few. Uh, we saw the Oak Ridge Boys, the Gatlin Brothers. And we loved this one guy. His name was Aaron McCune, and he had like the deepest bass. Giddy up, pop, 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 mow. Elvira. Oh, I think I got the bass line on that one. I got it low <laughs> enough. Um. Anyway, you can tell what we've been doing since we went there. Elvira. All right. Who's on the Walk of Fame that is not in the Grand Ole Opry? Faith Hill, Tim McGraw. They don't have to be on the Grand Ole Opry to be on the Walk of Fame. They're independent agencies. So this is a country music hall of fame museum across the street from the walk of fame my favorite part about the museum was the origins of country music so they talk about slaves coming over and playing banjos and the immigrants from scotland and ireland and pickens and then also gospel so just everything that goes into country music it's also had a lot of cool artifacts so this was a lamp that brad paisley gave to his producer that says you light up my life because you know a card just wouldn't do and here's Shania Twain's outfit from Impress Me Much. Sexy cheetah suit. My favorite part of the Country Music Hall of Fame was all the things that you found lyrics written on because you know, a song just doesn't come to you in the studio. So it was on napkins, coasters, even watching how the lyrics transformed into a song like this Chris Stapleton lyric. He approved everything on here except for the most important line, which he said should be left to professionals. This is Tootsie's Orchid Lounge. It took out the sound because she was off key and it was so crowded in there. Well, as we can see, we've been there, but this was a honky tonk more suited to us. Yes, Acme Feed and Seed. I went here with my mom when we went to Nashville a couple years ago. It's a great place. They had Nashville hot chicken, great beers, delicious. Loved it. What goes with a Nashville hot chicken lunch? Of course, a Nashville hot chicken ganache truffle. Oh, better yeah, than it sounds. These were amazing. We saw these guys on a YouTube video called Through Their Lens, and we were like, we have to go here. We didn't remember until we walked by. So freaking good. Nashville was nuts, and I think we may be too old for it. I mean, we got offered a jello shot, and it was 10 a.m. New Heights Brewing was really more our speed. In more ways than one. Thus far in Tennessee, we have only found standard brews. So a Pilsner, a Lager, a Porter. This place had inventive beer. So they added pineapple into their IPA. They added lime into their Lager. It was just really good. How's that for an Easter egg? <laughs> Why are you filming me? What, are you, what did you say about the propane tank? I said that there was a, we have to make sure we sort in a puncture proof place. So we're going to put it on the truck. Is there poop on the camper? Yeah, <laughs> Get it off. We don't even poop in the camper. Get it off. It might be turned. It's poop. I know it. <laughs> Leaving the city lights, old Nashville, Tennessee, and heading out into the wild country of Kentucky.
will be my mammoth cave. So I'm going to look at some stuff underground. And as you can tell, Marmot's happy to be leaving the city. Look at her little face. See you next time.